Were you guys expecting these civs on Arena? <laughs> Is there a reason we don't see the classic Burgundians here? <laughs> or, or civs like that? Or Britons or whatever? I don't know if people are, I don't know if the Arena kids are going these days for, for number one picks, but... You're just crazy good at micro? I agree, Chesties. Definitely agree with you there. Yeah, but anyway, like Burmese, are we are we sure about that? Like, does that max it? <laughs> I feel like Burmese are not the best arena pick. Like they're okay for like certain like I don't know monk strategies. Kind of thing, but... Great monk Yeah, I agree with you there. But but if you're against like Britons or something, and they get ten range archers, like <laughs> you know, or even Bengalis. Like, don't Bengalis have good archers? Like, I feel like most arena civs do. Trying to counter pick each other or something? Maybe, but like, I don't understand. Like, don't Burgundians just beat both these civs? Am I wrong there? I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Like, it feels to me like you'd probably, you know, get to uh, get a lot of damage in. Get, like, Burmese, I've always had a hard time when playing Burmese dealing with like a held longbow combo. I feel like that's always been one that I've struggled with. Like you do Cavalier and Skirms and it just doesn't feel like it works. Wrath that compensate for no thumb ring with a unique tech? Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, and Wrathas are actually really good, right? So. But yeah, if, if you guys were picking between these two civs, would you pick Bengalis or Burmese? So I feel like at least with Bengalis, you get those two extra bills in each age, right? That's a pretty big deal. Team Bengalis, Burmese. Okay, we got a few choices here. I mean, even, even I guess Burmese do have like the... You know, you got Aaron by obviously, and got some other cool techs, I guess. And the free what upgrades don't hurt either, I guess. So. Maybe they're a little better at getting the relics too. So if you can get four relics or five relics, maybe you have an edge. I guess relics are an important consideration in the game. But as I say that though, Leary's literally going a boom. He's ignoring the relics, isn't he? No light cap. And it looks like Velez is going light cap here. If Velez gets all five relics, then I'm really concerned for Leary. They are scouting each other here. I don't think the map's going to have a major impact. Seven on gold. Yeah. What is he doing here? Is he going to go like three monastery or something? Or, or is he just buying food <laughs> and buying wood? That's a weird, uh, that's a, that's a lot. You're absolutely right. Oh, and Spears too. Oh, he's gonna fight for the relics with Spear, uh... Yeah, Bengali monks are actually kind of nuts. I don't know if you guys have used them that much, but they are, they are nuts. I'm actually surprised he wants to fight this, seeing as he's going Spears. You want to keep your only scout alive, I would think. Wow. Okay. Yeah, bonus armor makes spears completely worthless. I agree with that, Albizen. Yeah, interesting. But the spears are just for the scouts, really. Oh, he's going siege too. Okay. But don't pay galleys have redemption? Like I can see doing this against the civ that doesn't have redemption. As a as an interesting idea for sure. But battering ram first too, and pike. Wow. Okay. Oh, I did not expect any of this. Will he get them? Will he get this? He got one. Okay. That'll be really helpful, actually, just for sniping the monks later on. Oh, oh. Oh, he got the monk, but he did lose a scout. And we got we got a ram coming in right away. <laughs> hey, Buck. You've heard a rumor about my farms, have you? It's funny, I'm going to say you're going to have to see it to believe it. That's all I'll say. Okay, one for one again. And uh, pretty, pretty even trade, I'd say. 
Um, there is an emote in the chat. I don't know if anyone remembers what it is, but uh, someone did create an emote for that. <laughs> Let's just say my farms are okay. Sometimes. And sometimes they're uh <laughs> they're just they're just not. <laughs> yeah, I don't even it's funny too, because I asked that in the chat and I don't even remember what the command is, so I know it's there somewhere. My chat always trolls me with it. I think there's even a counter on it if I remember. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Funny stuff. This is an intense push here, though. Leary is 1 TC as well, so he almost needs to do some damage. Velez is obviously on, on stone here, and 2 TCs, so his economy is getting pretty good. He's up 7 villagers. Now, don't get me wrong. It's less than it looks, though, because uh, he doesn't have the second wood upgrade, and uh, Leary also has a relic, and he's probably going to get all of them. I suspect. Oh, we got some bills inside, too! <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, you found it. Chris Farms. That's what it was. There we go. <laughs> Hilarious, Jacob. Uh... Okay. Decent micro from both, though. This push is still fully on, though. <laughs> Hilarious, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Heavy push here, though. This is uh, looking a little dicey. Like, I think if Velez can get to a castle, he'll be completely fine, but he's still a ways away from that. Oh, he's going to try and convert. Will he get it? He got it. I think now he has enough light cap to probably get the relics. Thanks to me, too. Almost through here, too. This is... I don't know, Velez. I think you need a castle. Like, this is your main gold. Like, he's got a secondary gold back here, but you don't want to lose your main gold long term. Misrael, it's a good question, hey? What do I think about how the game's evolved? Honestly, it's happened in spurts. It's really happened in spurts. There is, uh... From, like, 1999 to, like, 2003, as all the patches came in, the game evolved a ton. And, like, 2000... And I'd say, like, it slowly evolved for the next, like, 10 to 15 years. To, like, 2007. And then DE came out, and I think there was a lot of uh, changes that came with that. They kind of balanced the sieves, changed a lot of the things, automated a lot of things too. Um, that that then and a lot of people were playing, so it had a, a second level of evolution there. But uh, lots of monks going down on both sides here. Now, if Velez could just get a castle up, if he put twelve bells, okay. The question is, is this going to get up? That's the question. If there was a Mangano right here. I'd say, Velez, uh, I'd say Velez loses this, or, or gets in a lot of trouble. But there's no Mangano, so I think this just stops Leary's push dead in his tracks. Very interesting. Okay, one for one again. One monk, one scout. Cass is going to make it up. I think Leary's got a tough decision here. I mean, he's going to get the relic, so that's huge. But then what do you do? Do you start booming? Yeah, you added a second TC. I have a third PC, so he's going to start booming. <coughs> Getting some Rathas out. I, I like that. Rathas are incredibly strong. When you when you um, use their melee attacks, they destroy rams. They, they, they beat skirms, not majorly. Um, and honestly, I think they're like, they're pretty tough too. 100 HP or whatever, 110 HP. And they're not that expensive. I think it's 60-60, right? So... Surprisingly good for their cost. If I lose the cab here, okay, he's still microing them. He's gonna try and pick off the monks, okay, I like that. But I like what Leary's doing, he's kind of chasing, he's guarding his monks with spears. Something we were talking about earlier today, that uh, is a smart idea to do. Oh, minute. But Villas is still doing good here, using the mobility, finding the stray units. Getting a few kills here and there. But he is bringing home the relics, though. Now, the boom is, uh, well, in Velez's favor here. 
But by the way, guys, the second you stop pressure like this, one thing I want, I actually want to teach top experts here. Always, and honestly, any player, to be honest, but um, even at this level, always take a minute to check all your upgrades. When there's a lot of pressure on, you often forget them. It doesn't matter what level you are. And we can see Velez has missed the second wood upgrade. And uh, that's dangerous uh, if you forget that long term. So always take a peek. And, uh, you know, obviously at 80 bells too, you want to start getting like the gold upgrades and stuff like that too, of course. Um, but uh, just, a, just a reminder, I guess, for all of us. There you go, fucking rocks. Run Velez pushes and retakes land. Honestly, Chesties, though, I, I think what you do is you grab all the relics, and then what you do is he has enough monks to transport them back to the back. He's building a monastery back there. I think you send them back to your base. Um, as, you know, maybe you don't build a ton of monks to do that, but you slowly transfer them back and forth. I, I do like what Blez is doing, scouting around with the Rathas here. What's up, Beef Jerky? Things things are going awesome for me. How about, how about you? Got a day off, and we got to cast some Major Vampires. Chill out a bit. Oh yeah, and as you can see, here's exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> here's the rel. <laughs> oh my god, he's got yeah eight monks. This is like the relic. This is like the relic, the great relic movement of 2022. Now if he spots up with these rathas, oh my god, <laughs> you better drop him right now and start converting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just drop that one. Convert these two. It's only three units. You can convert two out of three. Pick them up after. <laughs> oh, you decided not to open it. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was fun. A lot of relics all in one spot. I mean, he's got he's still got a few monks left, so he can just grab them one at a time. But oh, I guess maybe not. You just do them all at once. But. And it looks like, you know, the guy was thinking Leary might be in trouble, but you know what? Like, he's going to have all five relics. He's only down by 11 villagers. He has the wood upgrade when when Leary, when Velez doesn't. Um, honestly, he's in a better spot than I would have guessed. So, we'll see how it goes for him, obviously, but... But all five relics is a big improvement for sure. Okay, Blaz going to second castle here. Yeah, yes, puts pressure on. I agree with that. And honestly, you want to drop a castle here or get some siege out too, just kill it. That's how many houses is that? 21 houses? Like, yeah. Don't I feel like it's a mistake from Larry Mutt No Bear? Ah! I don't think he had the building, so I don't know. It did slow him down a little bit. It depends. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. He did? Okay. Then, yeah, maybe, yeah. If you had them both, then that's true. Yeah, he does Siege Workshop. I forgot that's still up. So. Yeah, you wouldn't want to delay it for that, I don't think. Usually you don't want to delay it for anything. But, uh... That's a lot of monks looking. Versions here. At least that'll keep some pressure off him for a minute or two. I'm going to speed it up a touch, because I don't think there's a lot that Velez can do, even though he's in him. At least not at the moment. Yeah, he's gonna kill all the buildings there. Makes sense. Yeah, so... And now Velez is getting all the upgrades. He still is missing double bit, though. That's, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Treb time, and I agree with uh, putting a castle probably somewhere in the middle here. Maybe even a little more offensive. But you wanna... You don't wanna lose castles too early. You don't know if Leary's already up or not, or what, so... Okay, Castle comes in. But I think Leary's gonna yeah make a defensive prep, prep down. He is getting the monk upgrades though, so those are gonna be handy. Again, he's getting all the upgrades and stuff, so. I do think you repair this though. <coughs> he is converting a lot here. Put it back to normal speed, eh? It's looking pretty dangerous, actually. The score is actually almost equal now, and he has five relics, so... I don't know, I mean, the castle did go down, though, but... Ham's coming in. 
I guess he can deal with the ramps pretty easy, but... That's some Aaron Bio, too. Just Tennessee, you want to see me in the next Red Bull? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> Is that an upgrade? Okay. Yeah, he's retreating a little bit. I mean, it's still a... It's funny. <laughs> what are you doing here? Just digging the gold. Just Yeah, by the way, I'm just going to take your gold here. <laughs> now, I think... Um, Leary needs a few more minutes, though, honestly, to, before he's... He needs to upgrade his light cap. He has no armor on them yet. Yeah. He needs Bombard Cannons here. He doesn't have chemistry yet. He needs Halberd here soon, I'm going to suspect. Maybe not right away, but... <laughs> I think that's uh, going to be an interesting fight here. Like, Larry still does have the four relics, five relics, though, right? He is getting monks. Monks are always a good way to swing a battle, too. You get you take any bombard cans to come out, and even against Rathas, right? I mean, these are expensive units, so. Not cheap units at all. Now, the one problem is Velez is getting all the extra gold, so he's, he's not taking any chances of being at risk for not getting them. He's 20 bills on here. So. There's a lot of skirms for Burmese. You don't see that very often, eh? Honestly, though, I... Yeah. I don't know. How many are there? 29? Okay. You got a few. Once you convert a few, they're pretty tanky, so they take a little while to kill. Oh, he's coming in with the melee attack here. Yeah, you definitely have to run when they do that. Okay, trap going down. This game shows that guys have no units. Versus Halp Skirm. I disagree with that. If you're uh, if you're going your own Skirms in front, I'd say you probably have a better arm. You know, even just the Rathas plus your own Skirm is probably a better composition. And Burmese Skirms are crap, let's be honest. So. I'd say the problem is just that Leary is really doing a lot of army here. And Micring well. Um, oh, this is a bad fight though. I think I'd run there. The other thing, if you ever against the uh, Skirm, you know, this type of push, like, never be afraid to add your own Skirms. It's funny, too, because actually the monks are coming in clutch. Seven monks? Rathas are not cheap. You convert seven at a time? Like, that's half his army, right? Like, this is actually crazy, because it looks like Leary might be actually winning this game. I mean, he is getting a little map control here, but... I don't know, you want to take Castle Fire though. These do not they don't have armor upgrades. Ooh, this is terrible. All the monks going to die. Oh, that was painful. Big mistake by Larry there. Losing his seven monks. Now I feel like the whole thing just swung. <laughs> Velez over boom. Maybe. Honestly though, I think. Like. What what is oh, he switched the unit type, that's why. I was going to say, I think you add some monikers here. Maybe. They're Bombard Cannons? Do they have Bombard Cannons? I don't even know. Okay. Here's the Archery Ranges. Okay, he's doing Skirms now. This is what I was hoping to see earlier. I was going to say, you ever see a um, Skirm Spear? Just make your own Skirms. You'll be fine. You're, you're, you're trolling me, right? Michael, Michael Running Deer? Because if that's actually true, then I gotta check some settings. <laughs> I would definitely not. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this that all subs are supposed to be uh, all subscribers are supposed to never get ads. And I thought I had that. 
enabled, so I don't know. You reloaded? Weird. You reloaded and you still see them? Yeah, that's very weird. I'll have to look into that then. Maybe that will fix it. Oh yeah, that might have been it. That might have been it. Yeah, just because... Uh... Yeah. That would make more sense, actually. So I do like how aggressively Velez got this gold here. Even though he's losing some of this fight, uh, he's going <laughs> to... Larry won't get that gold. <laughs> 27 light cav, 14 rathas. It's not a lot of rathas anymore. It's only a few. Okay, good micro from those. Castle does go down. Okay, all the traps are down. These traps are going to go down too, so I don't know. That's a pretty close fight, actually. Trap going down there too. Now he's got his own skirms. It's funny because actually now I think the, the whole fight's going to swing. Once you get skirms in this mix, you know... You can put Rathas in the back, so they don't have to die. They still do a lot of damage. Now the archers it was GG, I agree he was built the Rex, that would have been better for sure. But even now, like I think just like turns. <coughs> Honestly, Larry needs his own light cap now. Second you see enemy turns, that's when you have light cap. <laughs> My guys have everything to kill full skirm. I don't know. Do they, uh, yeah, I don't know them well enough. So, do they have onagers? Do they have elephants? Do they have like their light cast seem like they have the last armor upgrade. So even though they only eighty HP, they're pretty good. Go kill skirm. Honestly, these are not bad light cast. Eighty HP with the full armor upgrade is pretty good. I think you're thinking of Dravidians. I, I don't think Dravidians have a way to kill full skirm. <laughs> That's a tougher one, I think. They're the ones with the bad light cap, I believe. Hey, okay, these are the same same type of light cap the Chinese have, right? ADHP, full upgrades. Yeah. Seems pretty solid to me. I think that's a good mix here. Okay, so, and, and Leary is smart. He added his light cabin, his hussars in right away. The second he's seen those skirms. Jeez, this is a close game. It's funny, because I thought Velez was going to win. But now I think Leary is going to win, but not by much. Just because he has the relics. Now the problem is, Leary has the relics, but Velez has the upper gold. It's going to be close. Crash battle? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, turning into that. Now the question, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Castles from both players coming in? Jeez. I almost think you need to add helps. Do, do big alleys have helps, guys? I agree with you, Albison, but I'd also say it's uh, you need villagers on the gold, whereas you don't need any villagers on the relics. So um, it's you know, I suspect those five relics have paid for one of the gold piles already. But it's probably pretty close. First skirmisher in the game and winning. Yeah, he's using them well though. He's using them well. Militia line are definitely a possibility in a case like this. It's one thing though, the stronger the Hussars, the less you need them. So, and there's still Rathas on this, you know. Velez still has Rathas, so I wouldn't do it for Leary. And Leary has very good Hussars, so I wouldn't do it for Velez. That's how I look at it. Yeah, exactly. And Skirm vs. Skirm Battle is not a big deal, but it's mostly Skirm vs. Rathas though. He is trying to focus part of those Rathas down as much as he can. <coughs> So 
plus five for Sarpsis. Yeah, that's huge. Funny is, like, Larry was winning that fight, but now it's like, nope. <laughs> What a game. I do feel like Leary needs like 10 more bills. He's not popped consistently. Jeez, yeah, okay. And Velez definitely needs Hustar. I agree with this. He should have had it earlier, actually. Burmese Elephant, we need everything? Yeah, but then you just had uh, Bengali Monks, which are really good, right? So. <coughs> Does a plus five still apply? You know, I have no idea. Maybe someone on the chat knows. A good question. Want memes? <laughs> okay, I see all my good stuff. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Their armor type doesn't change. Okay, interesting. It's funny because, like, yeah, if Leary didn't, if he had 10 more bills, he'd be doing great here, I think. I think it's the 10 less bills, he's not near 200 pop. He might, like, if you're going to be at 180, 170 pop, you might as well have 10 more bills. Or even 15, for that matter. I know it feels like a lot when you're making trash units, but whether you sell it for extra resources, you build up a bit of a buffer. Um. <coughs> Feels good. He's getting guilds though, so I do like that. <coughs> and the crazy thing is, Velez has 140 bills. And even with 140 bills, he's only 150 pop. That's crazy. I think Velez needs to delay a little bit in Mass Army here. So they both got a, I'll call it a minor touch up to make, I think. But yeah, fighting between these two castles while you build up army, that's perfect. Um. Maybe you stop building out of these two buildings. These units probably die. Building... What is that? A market? Okay. He's getting... He doesn't have enough production buildings. That's why. Well, this needs, like... Where's his archery ranges? Two archery ranges. That's not enough archery ranges. Where's the barracks? Three barracks. I think you double both of those. Let's just get a unique tech. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're right. Yeah, that's true. In that case, you can even go 150 bells, right? And, or one, 160, so. Aki no him, Jima. Would I play for Canada if Nations Cup happened? Absolutely. I'd join Slam and Hera again. We'd kick some butt. It would be fun for sure. But uh, there's been rumors about it, but it hasn't happened, so. Hopefully they make it three on three so we can all play as well. Last time we played two on two, and we, you know, I mean, None of us have really played that much together, so. <coughs> Good micro by Velez there, pulling back. All these castles are shooting. Two castles, full fire. Haha, <laughs> guys, do you remember that game? That was a good game. <coughs> yeah, that one worked really well. Three or three or four on four. Either way, even if it's four on four, I'd love that too. That'd be a lot of fun. We have other good Canadian players that would play with us too, I'm sure. Who knows? Maybe even get Darcy out of retirement. Come play some Nomad with us. <laughs> BSK Poison. For anyone who doesn't know, yeah, call Ra. Yeah, call Ra. Call Survivalist. Call everyone. Yeah, I'm sure there's even more players these days too. I bet, I bet Canada has a few uh, less known. You know, 2,000, 2,100 rated players. Leary? It's funny you say that, because I've been thinking, seeing Leary's gold, and I've been thinking, why is he not adding, you know, why is he not adding air mine? Just make make 40 air mine. <coughs> like, I'm not saying you need to make them, but I am saying I think it would kick a lot of butt. Um... They don't even, even Air Buy are not super gold heavy, right? I think it's 40 gold a unit or 55? I don't know, but. They die fast? I agree they die fast, but you put 10 Hussar in front. Always 10 Hussar in front. You go, you, you run in, you kill a bunch of units, you run out. 
Hey, what's up, Philipsy? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, so I put a, for anyone who doesn't know, I put a Reddit post saying that I was considering casting. And I'm going to put the games up on YouTube and, and stream them on Twitch, so. Um, and yes, I definitely still enjoy this game. It's, it's, in fact, it's, it's gotten better with all the changes, so. I'm glad to see you here. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun, so. You don't think everybody do as well in him? You know, you're probably right. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't done a ton of imp error by myself to so know. But uh, when you have this much gold, honestly, I think you had, yeah, Bombard Cannons, I was going to say. And to defend the Bombard Cannons, I think you have 10 or 15 air by. Put them in the back. Make 6 or 8 Bombard Cannons, 15 air by, some halves in front. And just start pushing with those those Bombard Cannons. going to be pretty powerful, yeah. And by the way, yeah, so if anyone um, gets a minute... Uh, please go to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. It's free, and uh, it'll help me out a ton. I'm trying to trying to get to a thousand subscribers there, so and uh, it'll only take you a second there, so. But uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post all the ca games I cast on there too. So, Bless is too many bills. I actually disagree with that. He hasn't hit 200 pop. <laughs> if he hits 200 population, I'd say he has too many bills. I actually think the problem is he doesn't have enough military buildings. The only thing that's saving him right now is that uh, he's fighting by two castles. There he's fighting by two castles when he doesn't need to. I'd say you, you move back a little bit. Don't waste your army. Two more traps, two more bomber cans, make a five. Um, and then start pushing again. I think uh, Leary's being a little greedy here by fighting under those castles. Okay, he snipes the cannon there. But yeah, even... Yeah, they do. Have, and I think he has the tech. Um, honestly, what a game at this point. Like, just what a back and forth game. Now, the problem is that Velez doesn't have gold access, right? You guys see, now we're at uh, full gold versus no gold. Um, that's a pretty difficult win condition for most players. Good shots coming in from the Bombard Cannons there. Full Siege. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you can definitely... Um, do a lot of things. What's up, Kongen? Good to see you here, man. But yeah, I think uh, Leary needs to start adding Hussar again. Hussar just absorbed these halves are all getting shot every every single shot. Um, no point in letting them take so much damage. Hussar take less damage in the front. And Leary, like, I swear, just add 20 bills. <laughs> 10 bills, 20 bills, I don't know what the number is, but... 10 bills and save army, but make more gold army. He's got the gold. 2,000 gold. Like, honestly, I think you add Rams, Bombard Cannons, and Hussar into this mix. And I think Leary would walk away with this game in the next few minutes. If he did those things. I don't know. What do you guys in chat think? What else, what else should these players be doing? Those skirms are just eating these gold units. There's only a few left, so. Set up a ram push? Absolutely. That was not the best micro there. <coughs> okay. Good stuff here. Militia line for Blizz is not an option. Well, he has no gold, so he'd literally have to sell food to do it. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, he does have guilds, but... The problem is that, uh, also the big problem is that uh, Leary's health have 13 attack. These are actually not terrible against champions. I mean, they're not, I mean, obviously not cost effective, but uh, they're really not bad. They're extremely strong. A lot of lost gold units there. Still doing bombard cans here. I like that. <coughs> Preparing them. That's good. Yeah. Once you're in this kind of a game, you might as well just focus on keeping your goldians alive. I do think um, Ella Archer would have been good here um, at some point. Yeah, Castle slowly dying here too. Oh, he still has a lot of Rathas though. 
Doesn't have much stone left to repair, though. Oh, Wrath is coming in hot. Shoot them with the skirt. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, Meg Galleys are actually really good. They're, the extra few vills are, are not bad. They're unique to play, though, I'd say. Definitely unique to play. And Wrath, like the Wrath Archers are, are insanely good. And L Archers are pretty good in certain situations, for sure. Okay, Castle goes down. Honestly, if you're Leary, break this gate, go right into the economy with 20 Hussar. Oh, could you imagine 20 Hussar in the back of here? There's no castles, no nothing. Oh, he doesn't have any helps, though. He might lose a few Bombard cans here. <laughs> he is repairing. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, the lift. Pretty decent job hanging them onto them. You know, it was a little dicey. Okay, there's the Hussars. But yeah, definitely distract your enemy. Just go put 20 Hussar in his face. Like, he's got 70. He's got 90 army. Jeez, that's an army. You got 90 army, 20 in your enemy's base, like, they're, yeah, they're so dead. Trickle regen. Oh, interesting, Albison. I wonder if they beat Byzantines or Portuguese. I bet, it's, I bet Byzantines still beat them. I don't know if Portuguese would, but. Another castle down, okay. Looks like Velez is in trouble here. Once you kill the production buildings, too, there's just not space to rebuild them that easily. Okay, stable down. The other thing that I'm actually surprised to see Leary not do is he's still building his army from back here. He definitely built some forward buildings up here, too. At least barracks, so that you can reinforce the protect bomber cannons. Buildings are so far away. Hostars can run pretty quick, so it's not the biggest deal there, but... But, uh, everything else. Skurms, helps. gotta build those close. I do like what he's doing, though, killing the buildings down. It's a good idea. Kind of a slow squeeze, but honestly, I... Take one wall down. Take a gate down somewhere. But again, Larry's still not 200 pop. I think he just needs another 10 bills. I know I've been saying that for a while, but... What a crazy game, you guys. Just nuts. I think he's got it yet? Like, jeez. Is there a point where Leary should just go elephants just to just to troll him and say, hey, leave the game? Okay, there, now he's building all these buildings for it. I like this, the barracks, as we were talking about. Might lose a few bar mark hands here, those are not cheap. Oh boy. I don't think so. I, yeah. Their trash is good. It's not, it's not, I mean, it is definitely pretty solid, yeah. It seems like, uh, yeah, Monk Siege was his original idea. Well, Les calls it. Wow, guys. What a crazy game. Let's let's see the stats. So, military score. We 1,200 kills, 1,100 deaths. Wow, yeah. That's actually a really good kill to death when you're talking about cost-effective units like Rathas. Strong. Um, obviously, he did have some Bombard cans to mix those. So those are expensive, too. Well, Les did collect, wow, almost 20% more resources. So, But, uh, and even more gold. 
the extra gold so but uh those relics probably did get a lot relic gold geez almost eight thousand so that almost adds up to the you know the two extra gold piles on the outsides and then there's probably some market use as well so yeah i mean just a good apm from both of them hey eh? they're literally a little faster but good stuff hey eh? 